Hey everybody, Chris here with some more Pokemon Scarlet. Um, I have good news and I have bad news. So good news is, while I was offline, I was continuing to do raids and capture some other stuff. Where did I leave off? I left off, I think, on a Whimsicott, and then I found these while I was offline. I ended up catching a right on eventually. I think I caught that as an extra, but I did a couple raids, caught another Kingdra. It's not shiny, but Sniper, I mean, I could probably work with this still because I have a swift swim and I can have a sniper one um caught this dude they had like a outbreak and pretty gone too which is pretty cool helps out my decks now um good news is I kind of have an idea of the Pokemon I'm gonna breed and I think Quillfish that's gonna evolve into Overquill would be great and as for dropping someone on the team I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave uh, let me see. I think Crunch is good. It's I like the idea of Crunch or Throat Chop. I'm torn between Toxic. So th this is what I want. I want Liquidation for sure because it's going to have Swift Swim. I have to breed a new one. This one's no good. This is a random one. But the idea is I want the ability Swift Swim. I want... Um, liquidation because it'll be a little bit stronger in the water of course maybe it's not that great but i want it i want barb barrage that'll be my damage my poison damaging move i want either throat chop or crunch crunch is already there so that probably saved me a tm uh, throat chop is nice for pokemon like uh like sylveon like it's gonna do like that voice move i forget its its name but you know, it, it disables them for a turn from using, like, a voice or screaming techniques. Kind of interesting. Um, and my fourth move, I don't know if I wanted to do Toxic or Destiny Bond. Toxic could be nice because I'm losing that poison from the spikes that Gita's giving me because I'm planning on getting rid of Gita. And to be honest with you... The poison spikes rarely come out because it's not every time I get hit with a physical move. So the goal is I'm going to drop Gita for Overquill, which is the evolution of this one, um, with Swift Swim. That's the goal. So I think I'm going to run Toxic on that last slot. Also, I am planning to... This is a really bad Wingle, okay? Um, I have to breed a new one, all right? Um, I'm planning to run one with Drizzle give it the damp rock item that way it lasts eight turns of rain and um i think for pelipper because in the rain hurricane has a hundred percent chance to strike the only reason i wanted to pick this pokemon is one it can bring in the rain just from being summoned two her i need i definitely need a flying move i need a flyer on the team hurricane has a hundred percent chance to hit um while this Pokemon is, uh, while it's raining. So Hurricane is super strong. I was thinking about running Surf. Uh, Surf is actually debatable. I'm not sure if I want to do Surf or not, but Surf is good because it hits all the enemies as well. And um, I like the idea of U-Turn, and then I'm kind of torn on the last ability because um, if they're an Electric type, you know, I, do, I take four times damage. I may want to run Protect against that. Or... If they're not an electric type, well, then I'm more or less kind of safe versus a lot of things. So I could probably pop Roost, which is a nice heal. And then I can, like, bulk this thing up. But those are things I'm still debating on. I have to go and catch a new Dreadnaw because Dreadnaw is my third choice. That can also get Swift Swim. But the goal is Overquill in, Gita out, Chuchi out for Kingdra. And Eduardo out for Pelipper. That's the goal. So Gita's going to leave for Overquill. Chuchi's going to leave for Kingdra. Eduardo's going to leave for Pelipper. And that way I have three Pokemon here that do well in the rain. The rain does not help Loka in any capacity. None. Zero. It's going to be terrible. And I may also change this charge into Thunder. Because I'm going to have the rain benefiting me. But also... 
This charge is still quite nice because it hits everyone, but it also hits your ally. That's what I don't like. And I'm going to have a bunch of water types. Um, you know, well, I'm not going to have a bunch of water types. I'm going to have a poison dark type, a water flying, which I can roast and toast myself with a discharge. That's why I'm thinking about protect because I can always protect myself, let the discharge happen. The enemy gets roasted. I survive. Um, but I haven't decided yet, but these are the three I'm looking to swap out. Salamance has been in this game for a very long time. I'm not super sad about losing them. Uh, World Wardle, rather. Chuchi I haven't been super impressed with. I just wanted to try it out because it's really nice looking Pokemon. And uh, Gita, I think its usefulness is not... I'm not going to find its usefulness in story mode. Its real usefulness is going to be like more like PvP sort of stuff, um, I think, so... Let's um, let's go ahead and continue on with the story. I did see there was a lady here with an orange text. Hello, synchronization. The euphoria of synchronization. Hello. I'm quite the outstanding researcher. Help me out by participating in amazing experiments. Okay. And what is that? Let's head over to the test area. You'll need to have a uh, Pokemon out of its ball. Just let me know when you're ready. All right, so. Oh, I didn't think she meant that. So let's, uh, let's have Loka do it. Are you ready to help me out? Yes. Let's get started. Synchronize! So I don't know what this is all about. Oh! I'm synchronized with my Pokemon. Now that you're synced up, it'll move as directed by your thoughts. Let's start with a movement test. There's a tree. Try moving there. Okay. You can do like a little, little uh, gallop there. Um, what is this? So I learned how to walk. You'll get some useful data from that session. Here's something for your trouble. Three rare candies. Thank you. Thanks. Now my Pokemon are going to have to visit the dentist. Thanks, lady. Sinclair. Help me out with an experiment. I guess I have to have something out every time, right? I'd imagine. Okay, they're sending me straight in. Synchronize. I can press Y and attack. Ooh, there's items. Can I also collect items? I can! Sweet. Alright. Interesting. What is this all about? What? Why are we doing this? What's my range? I guess I have to be closer. Oh, that one's running away. <gasps> A shiny graveler, dude! Dude, that's the worst thing that could happen to me. I just wasted my time in synchro mode and there was a shiny graveler there. Oh. Hold L and press R to begin synchronization. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm just synchronizing out here. Why would I want to do this? What's the purpose of this? I just lost a shiny doing this. Oh, man. This feels terrible, dude. I feel really bad right now. I just lost a shiny unless that was... Is that intentional? I feel bad right now. I had a shiny there I could have caught, dude. Are you serious? Did they synchro me here? <gasps> he 
I think it's it was by this tree. Dude. It's literally gone. Oh. I'm so sad, dude. Oh my god, it was here. Why can't you capture shiny Pokemon while in Synchro? Oh my god. It was a shiny Graveler, dude. Because they're orange when they're shiny. This one, this type. Shiny Alolan. Oh man, that had been the sickest golem, dude. This game, we just started this video and I'm already depressed, man. What's in this cave? Oh yeah, I've been in here, man. I was exploring. Wait. Is blue the normal color? I thought they were red. Yeah, I guess blue is the normal color for the babies. The evolution is red. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, we're not going to explore this cave unless there's a mission for me. But I came in here and caught Joltik, and it's, ev it's evolution I got from a raid, actually. <sighs> Dude, that was going to be a shiny on video. I haven't caught a shiny on video. Like... That was it. That was gonna be my shiny on video, dude. Well, then again, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have walked this way for no reason, but still. That's still depressing. It was laying by this tree. He was sleeping, man. Alright, well, let's see what this raid is. I do not need you. Um, where should we go next? Alright then, so, I feel like I've caught a good bit of Pokemon out here. Right now I'm just kinda, let's see what this 6 star is actually. Right now I'm just kind of, um, scoping out the raids. And if the raids are not anything I need, we're just gonna continue the story. So, that's the goal right now. This one's closer, even though they look to be about the same distance. Actually, this one looks... Whatever, I'll just check out both. This is hard to tell if you're shiny. I don't I don't remember what the color is when they're shiny. It's like a darker green? I know Flygon is like a very tealish color. These DLC items, man. Literally everywhere. Look, Leo. Grab this. All right. Another one of those. <laughs> There's a regular Flygon. Ah, oh, man. I'm never gonna forget that, man. That's horrible. Then this is gonna be on video for the rest of my life. These items are giving me a ton of items to say sorry, probably. Where is this raid? Up that way, but I'll check this one. I'm already here. Jeez. The good thing is, a lot of these things I already had a scissor, I realized later. The good thing is, I already have, like, the vast majority of these raids here. So now I'm just essentially just running through, you know, like, getting just what I need, and then just keep going. Ooh, TM. High horsepower, that's a pretty good one. Wait, oh, I was like, I thought that was a raid here. I saw an item back there. Oh, I don't want it. All right. You know what I want? 
Is that shiny graveler you gypped me on game? That's what I want. Give me the graveler back. Ugh. I'm never gonna forget this pain, dude. Get away from that item. You can't have it. You're just a baby. You don't even know what to do with it. Okay. If there's something close by, we could take a look at the raids. I mean, there's two raids over here. Do we want to check those out? There's also some over here. Um, let me check the portal and see if there's any good raids going on. I think we could finally start doing a circle. What do you guys think? Terror battle. Might be able to start doing our story already. Um, I don't need anything here, really. Actually, I don't. Marini? I mean, probably not. I already have Porygon 2. No need to capture another one. We'll take a look at these raids. This music sounds... I love the music in this place because it feels like the older games. I don't remember which game, though. I just can't think of it right now, but... It's like being on your bike or something like the fast bike. I don't know. Just a feeling. Whoa, there's a mass outbreak geodudes, man. Where are they? Yo, dude's hanging out on the water, bro. Hello, Maloma. Okay. Oh, here's a bunch of Geo dudes. Well, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let's go check out that dragon raid over here somewhere. Gotta be something on top of this rock, dude. This is like the Lion King rock. There's got to be. Oh, oh, it's just a Golurk. I think I caught one already. Yeah. What are you doing all the way up here? I don't not like fighting Golurk. What's that? Minior. I don't like fighting Golurk because um, it literally resists everything, dude. Well, it resists everything I'm trying to do to it. You guys think we'll make it over this little mountain? Actually, now that I've gotten this far, I think we will. Ooh. No need. Ching chow! Ching chow! Well, there's nothing out here. Let's go take a look at these raids up here. See if there's anything worthwhile. I am always looking to complete my decks. Like, always. If I can complete my decks, I'll be a very happy man. Always on the lookout to improve my Pokedex. And just catch them all, baby. Reunclius. And this is a comfy. Here's the oh the chinchino. Just a quill fish. I'm gonna breed my own. I'm not gonna even concern myself with these little baby ones. Not gonna sit on here and try to get a perfect one in the wild, you know, it's kinda rare to find perfect Pokemon in the wild, like... Almost. 
like the percentage chance of finding one in the wild is extremely rare. You're better off just doing raids. Here's a ride on. Uh, you're better off just doing raids right now anyway, like nowadays. And these newer games just do raids because real good chance of getting uh, great IVs. The, the star, the how many stars is in the raid is, you know, how many, um, essentially how many IVs you'll get. So if it's a six star raid, you'll always get a five IV Pokemon. And if it's a, a seven star raid, there'll always be six, uh, six perfect stats, six uh, perfect IVs. The problem is winning those raids, they can be difficult. I feel like I'm missing a raid somewhere. Like, I swear there was three here. I swore those three. This one? Oh, maybe this one. That might be it, actually. I think I skipped it. I know there was an item there, but that's okay. There's like infinite items everywhere, dude. Did I... Some Porygons. I actually don't know. Did I skip this one? Hmm, I actually, I actually did do this one. Okay, I just didn't remember. Um, so Leia, check out these raids. There's only a few more raids to check and then we'll continue the story. The thing is, I didn't want to continue the story without my new Pokemon. I'm not going to be ready, but we'll try. Um, go ahead and grab some items while we're here. You think they'll ever give us hidden bases again? That was sick in the old games, man. You can have a hidden base. And if you had like a friend that you've like traded with in the past or something, they can go to your base and get EXP fighting against like your ghosts, essentially. It was a really neat feature. Um, let's go for these because Actually, the center plaza is closer. From here, I can work my way over there towards the the next portion of the story. Man, I'm never going to forget that. Literally cheated me. Out of a shiny golem, dude. Thing. It's further up. I guess it is. It's so weird. This thing is super high up. Oh yeah, and there's a TM. Camera up. Wow. Twirkle. Some firebirds. That is a, a bug Rhyhorn. Well, bug Rhyhorn won't be weak to water, <laughs> which is its four times weakness. Another one of those, dude? How is there so many of those today for me? Dude, today is just a bad luck day. No way. There's no way my luck could be this bad all day. You know? Take a look at that one. Ooh, 5,000 doll heads. Gotta be up here, got a feeling. Oh! 
Oh my god, I gotta change my Pokemon. Gotta get away. <laughs> Things dive and bomb dive bombing for me. Oh, I actually need this. Five stars. So it's a fairy type. It's going to do fighting moves. I need a poison type. Fighting moves. Hmm. Fighting moves. I mean, I could roll with this just to give us defenses. It's gonna do a lot of physical attacks. Or I can do. Let's do this one. It's gonna do. Wait, no! This is a bad idea. It's gonna do fighting moves, and I'm a dark type. Oh my god. Oh lord. I think I have to roll. I think we'll roll with one Carlo. That's okay. Just so I can lower their stats and give us reflect. What is that? Oh, that's the new turtle. That's right. I just don't have it yet. I was like, dude, is that guy bringing a Zeb Striker or something? Why is it blue? But it's the turtle. I do need this. I caught a Tyrogue, but I need essentially all the evolutions. I think Tyrogue can turn into Hitman Lee, Hitman Chan, and this thing, Hitman Top. Plus, now that I think about it, when I fight the boss Pokemon, Toxic will have greater effect. Remember I had to switch in Dragog and drop Gita? Well, they're bringing another support Pokemon. I mean, it's only a 5-star raid, so that means it's like level 75 or something, right? So we're just gonna open up with Reflect and just spam, um, probably Chilling Water, whatever is gonna lower their physical attack. Was that a shiny turtle? No. Terra Shift. Terra Pago. Sludge Bomb, that's gonna hit great. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be fine here. That Steel Move still hurts. Focus energy. And it's poison, too. I think we do... I think chilling water... Yeah. I think we do chilling water this whole fight here. And that's just to lower the physical. What were we thinking with that Thunder Punch? What is Thunder Punch supposed to do here? Good thing this thing doesn't have uh, Brick Break. Oh, it's gonna bulk up. Mm. 
Zen Headbutt? I don't know if Zen Headbutt's really the way to go here. Terra Blast. Ooh. Triple Kick. Oh, good thing. Terra Storm. The turtle is so cool looking. I'm not gonna bother terraforming. I don't think we need to waste that time, you know? Might need to drop a uh, reflect here in a turn or two. Turn a star storm. So which one is that? Is that star storm? Oh, that's star storm. Ooh, that's interesting. Close combat. Look at that. That was a crit, too, so we've nerfed its damage, plus we had Reflect on. That's good. Ooh. Man, I feel about as tired as this hip on top. I'm ready to go to bed, too, dude. And there we have it, another Pokemon for the decks. We're just that much closer to completing it. I don't know how many are in this decks, but if I can catch one new thing a day, that'd be great. Even if it's just from raids. This is why I try to do the raids when I can. Yep, I did need that. And then the other two should be Hitman Lee, Hitman Chan, right? There's two right there. Yeah, Hitman Lee, Hitman Chan, I think. I don't know. And where should we go from here? Oh, we also have all these up here. Jeez. Um. We have two more reads in this general area to check out. I do want to see them. We are going to try out the story a little bit. Just at least a little bit. Oh, that's a slow poke. One of these things is not like the other. All right, let's go take a look at that raid. A raid down over here that I see I haven't checked yet. I mean, I, I don't care what pops up in the raid. As long as it's something I need for the decks. And honestly, if I find the Pelipper raid, I'd probably take it right now. I think the other day, right? I think it was on video too, good lord. I think I had a six star Pelipper raid that I was just like, I don't want this. But now I'm like, ugh, now that they're forcing me to do doubles, Pelipper is actually like one of the best rain dance Pokemon, like to a rain dance setter. I actually don't need that anymore. Um, so let's go down here. We're only a few raids away from. Continuing the story. We'll at least do a little bit of the story. I 
Oh yeah, we had checked that one. We checked the six star. This is the one we didn't do. And some of the scary shinies to get are like uh, if you get a lit Leo, a shiny lit Leo, and it's like, oh no, because I want the male one. I want the male line. It looks cool. Or if you get a shiny Salandit, it only evolves. Oh, I think I need this baby. I don't need a team though. It only evolves if it's a female. Uh, I need something that fights. Fighting moves. Guess we'll drain punch. Let's do it. Challenge alone. I need this. I have the uh, adult. We caught the adult last, uh, I think, episode. And I'll try my best not to go into two hour videos again. I just happen to. I get carried away, is my problem. You know what I'm saying? I start seeing new Pokemon everywhere, and I'm just like, I gotta have it! Give me that baby! Twirls with the Intimidation, okay. Ooh! Wow, that wasn't even an attack from me. Oh my, guys, I did nothing. The CPU are out here blowing up three star raids. This is awesome. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with Gaia Online. I I've mentioned this a long time ago, but. I used to be a dragon leader in like a Pokemon guild on there and this was one of the Pokemon I was considering having on my team because it's attack stat was so crazy high and then you give it like head smash you know but the requirement to have a Pokemon that's not actually a dragon type on your team is that it had to have a dragon move. It was pretty cool. I had a pretty sick team. Um, but yeah, I had a dragon-themed team. And Kingdra was the star of my team, of course. The headbutt Pokemon. Okay, so we need shield on them. So look at that. We did two raids today that benefited me. There's a... So these things, these little Lego blocks are interesting because sure you can use them to get around and stuff, but like you can't climb up on them like like I can on this mountain here. See, see, I'm able to climb this mountain, but on those I actually need to jump like really jump. Why are you defending this, bro? It's just body press. Relax. I like that I can just concentrate on just running around and only stop if I absolutely need some- What?! Oh my god, this thing's defending this Terra Stone away from me. Another slow bro. Okay, well we're getting a decent amount of LP here. Not that I really need it, but... So what we're gonna do is port here. After this, after we check these three raids, we're gonna go ahead and continue the story. At least a little bit, you know, just to just to do something. Can't ride it right on here. Oh, really? Well, I'm doing it now, losers. Oh, I was like, that's an odd color, but it's just in the shade.
Another Kingdra. Could this be a shiny? So it's going to do water dragon moves, but it's a psychic type right now. I might be able to stay in and just do Koto Cleave, I think, actually. Challenge as a group? Yeah, we'll let people get in here. It could be a shiny. You never know. If it's a shiny, this is the one I'm going to build. I don't mind capturing extra Kingdras. Um, it's a psychic type right now, so dark moves are going to be crazy, but it's going to do water moves. Hmm. I think I'm better off staying where I'm at. We just do Koto Cleave. I think we'll be all right. Ooh, another King Gambit. We have a King Gambit team. I think we're ready. Oh, he changed this King Gambit. It's a psych that's psychic type, right? Fairy is like a little bug. It looks like a Venomoth. Dang, they got the Venusaur and Blastoise. Watch out. Another Akuma. Uh-oh. Hmm. Just waiting on Vini there to hit yes. Dark Rye, that's a good choice. Friends, it's time to do this. It's time to duel. Let's we'll see if it's purple. Please. Ooh, wait. It's blue. It's blue, right? It's blue. Yeah, I see the reflections. My heart skipped a second there. Yeah, it's blue. That's fine. Rain dance. Watch out. What's, what are you running? Swift swim? Oh boy, I'm extremely weak. Ooh, did I crit? Hydro pump. Wow, that's there goes half my health. I should have came in here with uh Juan Carlo. I'm probably asleep. I should be asleep by now. Gonna do a heal for the homies. Someone else did a heal, okay. Do another heal so we can get everyone uh, off the sleep. That missing was pretty important for me. Flash cannon. I mean, that's a great move, but. That great against me. Rage Fist.
Man, is this game lagging? That they let me attack like almost three times in a row? This had to be one of the smoothest raids I've ever had. Do they make changes to this game or what? Get the premiere ball, Kingy. Well, it may not have been shiny, but still got some stuff out of it. Horsey ink? Did I read that correctly? Well, I guess it does shoot smoke screen out of its mouth. So yeah, smoke screen can be made of ink. I'm planning to have two Kingdras though. One with Sniper and one with Swift Swim. Swift Swim we already have and it's already EV trained. Now I just need a Sniper one which we have in our box already. And then with that one, I'll be able to uh, essentially do what I was planning to, have one of each. So if you're gonna have like a, a sniper one, it's good to have like focus energy on it because it does, it boosts your chance of critting. There was a move in the old games that I always wanted to run on Kingdra, but it could never learn it. And it was one that, why is that so red? Oh, it was one that, um, hmm, are you, you're not, no, they're a little more blue when they're shiny. This is too green. There was a move, an ice move, that was a guaranteed critical hit. And I was like, well, dude, if I could teach this to Kingdra, and then I can guarantee always hitting some, some mean sniper damage, that'd be great. But then I realized later it could not learn the move. I think it was, like, intentional. Anyway, give me a second, guys. I have a call here. All right, so just a quick phone call there. Um, we're back. Let's go ahead and, what am I doing again? We're going to the story quest. That's what we're doing. Let's go ahead, ooh, let's grab this TM and give this a look-see because this is gonna be some good stuff up here. Now let's see what's going on. It's probably going to be more double battles. What? Oh my god. Picky pick. Picky pick. Oh, guys. I also forgot to mention. Dude, look. Let me save real quick just in case the game crashes. I recently bought a mystery dungeon because it's on sale. So I don't know. I may do a playthrough on that. I'm not sure yet. You guys let me know if you're interested to like see stuff like that game. I haven't 
I've actually never really played a mystery dungeon game before. You didn't have any trouble finding the place, did you? Say again, I didn't quite catch that. Alola, everybody. Shall we get started? Looks like we have a new face today. I'm sure you all, you're all enjoying the tropical climb we've created here at the coastal biome. But remember, it's really for the many Pokemon you'll find living here adapted for such weather. Once a species has even grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all the light it's exposed to here. That's right, certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call this variation a regional form. And that brings us to today's task. I'd like each of you to catch one of these Alolan form Pokemon. When you've got one, come and report it to me. Now go get catching. Okay. I actually did this. Um, many of our classes here at Academy are practical like this one. So off you go. Don't overthink it. Just do your best for the first class. Okay. Uh, well, I'm actually done. So... Did you manage to catch one? Yes. You want to, like... He wants to keep it? Oh. Uh, let's see. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as I have a... Because I can just always breed the Geodude, so... Do we give him a Geodude or something? We'll give him a... We'll get, you know what? I'll give him a Geodude because I can trade this and give someone a free Golem. We'll give him a free Geodude. Oh my god! You got yourself an alone Geodude! It's a magnetic stone, iron sand. It gets stuck to the bits that have especially strong magnetism. You already finished the assignment? I was really motivated. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you guys saw me going nuts last episode. So battling isn't your only talent. You've got an act for catching Pokemon, too. It's easy to see how high level the students must be at Naranja. Everyone gather around. What are we going to do next? D did I have to give him that Pokemon, or he just wanted to see it? We're all out of time, so you have to be it for class today. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, that'll be your homework to complete before our next session. Interest. This is cool homework assignments. I could get used to stuff like this. What did you think of your first Blueberry class? It was fun. Makes me so happy to hear that. I'm supposed to go make an appearance at the club room. I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but I'll leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks we you can do called Blueberry Quests or BBQs for short. They're sort of like missions that the school assign of students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or to catch specific Pokemon, those sort of things. You never know about the next BBQ might be, so you might, you'll need to carry it out. But if you do what's asked of you, you'll earn blueberry points, also called BP. I guess that's like battle, not battle points. It's currency you use in a cafeteria or at the school store. You might be able to use it for club activities in the future, too. The long and the short is that you should do BBQs and get yourself BP. What are blueberry quests? There are special quests set up to support students extracurricular pursuits within blueberry academy if you can complete the quest sent to your rotom phone you receive blueberry points <clears throat> you can check out which quests are currently available by pressing the right button when you are out and about a max of three quests will be displayed by default each time you complete a quest a new one will be added to take its place and every time you clear 10 quests a special bonus quest will be unlocked. You can also help your friends with their quests if you're all playing together in the Union Circle. Once a quest is completed, everyone who took part will receive BP reward for that quest. So work together to clear as many as you can. Ah, oh, unfortunately I don't have any friends. So I have to do this solo. There are points that can be used like cash at Blueberry Academy. Use them to make purchases at the store cafeteria. You can also donate BP to the to the club room to support other clubs. 
Interesting. We should try a barbecue. Blueberry Quest. Um, I think we can safely try one today. It's me, Karma, and I heard the news you got picked for the exchange program. Ha, ah, one of my teachers told me, never thought we'd be fellow students of BB Academy. Anyway, you should totally come and show your face. It's been too long already. Now let me think, where could we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a space called the Central Plaza in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. We might have to battle Carmine. But I also, I feel like there should be a BBQ here. Ha, have you been doing battles? No, I have not. I am looking. What is that? Oh, 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 oh yeah. someone traded me one of those. I'm looking for my first BBQ. I feel like there should have been a BBQ like, what the? I, uh, I feel like there should have been one there, like a starter one, like, hey, check, take a look. Go talk to Tom over there, and then you can be a BBQ. What's that? Oh, it's a meow stick, okay. So how do I identify what is a BBQ on the map? Like, how do you know there's one somewhere? Huh. It's kind of interesting. I feel like there should be one here. Let me check, like maybe this is a quest board? No. Uh, I don't know where a BBQ would be. I guess we could meet Carmine. There might be one here in the center. What what they want me to do? Head to the plaza and meet him. And meet her, or Carmine. Carmine's gonna wanna duel again, guaranteed, dude. Guaranteed. I just wanna do one barbecue, man. How do I find it? Wait. Hold on, is that in the Poke Portal now? No. Union Circle. Join a group. Oh, I don't have a link code. Um. Yeah, Union Circle is only for if you like have friends. Um. I honestly don't know how to do a BBQ. I guess I should have paid better attention. And now the tutorial's gone. Oh boy. Is it in the adventure guide? Synchro, here we go, here we go, here we go. There are quests that support students within Blueberry Academy. So they wouldn't be out here, they would be in the Academy. You can check which quests are currently available by pressing right button when you're out. Oh, what's ones that are available? Hold on, hold on. <gasps> here we go. I have to do these. Hold on. Okay, so. Defeat 10 with auto battle, catch one, take a photo with a wild Pokemon. You got it, boss. We're gonna do all of those at once, actually. And... Wait a second. No, I'm fine. How do I do the camera? No. Up. Oh. oh, no. Oh, you can do fusion dance. Oh. <laughs> Ha 
Hi there. No, get back in there. Up, was it up? No, it's down. Hello. I feel like I'm playing Pokey Snap. Dude, I would get so many points right now. How do I do the emojis? Y button. No, it's not Y button. Let me see. That's pretty cool. Ah, nice, man. So we fulfilled that. Now I need to do... Now I need to, wait. Wait, why is it lagging? Okay. Defeat them, defeat them. Defeat them, <laughs> get them dude. Get him! What are you doing? He's gonna get me! Do you not? It doesn't attack while we're in the water. This is no good. I thought... That's fine. Well, let's see if we can catch this. I need to capture one for the... For one Pokemon, it doesn't matter the Pokemon, I need to capture one. Oh man, I'm out of here then, I'm leaving. Acupressure, that's gonna make it crazy. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go... What? There's a raid over here I never tried. Handle business, buddy. We need to defeat 10. One. Two. Three. Continue the slaughter, Momo. Four. Five. Six. Seven. This thing is still following us, oh god. That's eight. Aww. Nine. And ten. There you go, completed. Now I just need to capture a Pokemon. So we can get all of our barbecues done. Why did we get a, what just happened? I'm not really sure. Huh. Do I actually have to capture the Pokemon to get the BBQ done? So it's not like a quest you pick up in the world. It's just like a quest that loads up. Okay, so I caught that just for the... I don't need this at all, i just doing it for the BP. Um, oh, sneak up on one. Look, you can just keep going. Oh, God. So we can sneak up on a Pokemon and, and get them in the battle. These are interesting. This gives us a little bit more to do out here. That should have done it. That did it. I don't even have to capture it. Sweet. We're just getting BP out of everywhere now. 
And now I just need to travel 500 yards, which is extremely easy to do on a mount. What's my other one? Pick up 10 items on the ground. That is extremely easy to do in a DLC zone. So, let's... That's item number two, and we just started. Three, four, five, six, seven. Man, I might actually get my ten items while I'm over here. That's seven, right? Oh, God, I suck at... All right. Whirlpool is a good move. Nice, we got the 10 already, dude. Oh, you can do 10 B... I was gonna say BBQs a day. You can do 10... Yeah, I guess BBQs is appropriate. Look at this. I just got the collect 10 items. Man, you literally get BBQ from just playing the game, which is kind of great. Pick up 10 more items. So you, we can do three more... Auto battle, catch one more Pokemon. Chinchino, let's see if we luck out. And then we'll auto battle everything here, just destroy them. Let's see if we luck out with a quick ball. I hope so. Oh! Alright, we're out of here. Choo! Oh, that is a lot of damage. Let's get out of there. Okay. I need to capture one Pokemon. I don't need you for the decks, but I need you for the barbecue, little one. Come get barbecued. We're gonna finish all our barbecues for the day, and I just wanna see, like, what happens exactly. Oh god, I hope these guys aren't going into my good box. Ooh! You again. Now we have to defeat 10 in an auto battle. You got it, boss. Defeat that thing. What are you doing? So I need two more quests. Defeat 10 and collect 10. That's two, three, four, five. Get away from me, man. It's gonna be six. It's gonna be seven. Eight. Nine. A ten. Kenshin leveled up. Sweet. So now I just have to... Uh, collect items. If we collect ten items, we'll be done for the day. I think that's the easiest one. We're already halfway, and we just got here, like... Man, there's a nasty storm here, dude. I feel like there should have been an item there. Generally, I can find stuff in the water, too. What are you? Opinion. Oh my god, the snow is tricky. Two more items. We'll probably find two right here. Nope. Done. Battle a wild Terra Pokemon. What? Ooh, we get a hundred BP. Let's do it. There was one over here, too. There was a, uh... Lapras. Let's do it. Let's beat it up, man. Okay, so who wants to destroy the Lapras? 
So I just have to defeat one, then we get 100 BP. Complete. I don't even have to capture it. We just have to battle it. Dude, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's a bug, too. Oh, nasty typing. Simply battling it was enough. I can leave now. Sweet. This is kind of sick, man. Oh! Now, if I continue... Like, how does this work exactly? So my BP... Oh, it resets after you beat up the Terra Pokemon. It actually resets. Got it. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So... I got, uh, guys, we learned a good bit of stuff here. We learned about Synchro Mode, which I lost a shiny Pokemon in. We learned about um, this mode here, which is quite interesting. The barbecues are pretty cool. And I caught two new Pokemon today just from raids. So I think what I'm going to do uh, while I'm offline... I'm going to concentrate on breeding Pokemon. So, um, hopefully next time I get on, you will see three new members in my team. That's what I'm hoping to show you. All right? Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. And until then, see ya.